So being in a civil engineer squadron or being in several civil engineer squadrons throughout my career, um, being retired military and thinking back to my first days in the service and even transferring into the civilian sector, um, my experience has all been so good. Um, I liked getting my hands dirty and uh, being a critical part of the mission. You know, without civil engineers, uh, there's a lot of things that just won't happen. Civil engineers uh, receive a lot of job satisfaction. They're able to see the results of their hard work in action after you know, completing difficult projects. Um, in turn, um, that motivates them to continue moving forward and continuing on with that mission and uh, training the folks beneath them to do the same. Thinking back to how long uh, training has been around how long Shepherd's been in existence. Um, I feel like it's really important for us to carry on the traditions and the training that have been set forth from folks years ago as they laid the baseline for us. And our job is to continue that and to expand on it and always make it better. EOD Heritage starts back in World War II with the British engineers, Admiral Kaufman and Major Kane. The EOD badge is the only occupational badge that is worn by all four services. So we, we teach these things in our curriculum to the students and then when they become EOD techs themselves, they maintain and carry that knowledge and heritage throughout their whole career in the Air Force. It's changed a lot since 1941. In World War II, they were hand removing fuses with unfortunately a lot of trial and error. With the advancement of technology, it's made our job a lot more easier. I'm just grateful to be following in the footsteps of those brave and innovative men and women. Being part of HVAC is a critical role for a day-to-day -day operation throughout the globe. I know that sending out HVAC technicians out of Shepard Air Force Base plays a critical role in the Air Force mission. It's fascinating to know that Shepard Air Force Base has had this mission for 79 years. It is an honor and a blessing to be able to fulfill it as an HVAC instructor. Being able to continue the legacy and the growth since 1941 is very rewarding.